Now, in this session, we are going to see some of the numericals in the elastic properties of materials. Now, let us see the first numerical. Calculate the extension produced in a wire of length 2 meters and radius 0.013 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters due to the force of 14.7 newtons applied along its length. Given Young's modulus of material of the wire Y is equal to 2.1 into 10 to the power of 11 newton per meter square. Now, what exactly this problem defines is calculate the extension produced in a wire of length. That means capital L is 2 meters. The original length is 2 meters and radius of it is R is equal to 0.013 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. That means a wire of length 2 meters having a radius of 0.013 into 10 to the power of minus 2 due to a force of 14.7 newtons. That means F is force applied on such a wire is 14.7 newtons. And given the Young's modulus of a wire Y is given by 2.1 into 10 to the power of 11 newton per meter square. Now what is that you have to calculate is the extension. Extension is nothing but X. So, what is Young's modulus formula? Y is equal to F L by A X. That means longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain. Force per unit area is a longitudinal stress. Change in length by original length. That means X by L is the longitudinal strain. So, taking the uh, stress by strain, you are getting the formula as F L by A X. Where A is the area of cross section. Area of cross section of the wire. What is the area of cross section of the wire? A is equal to it is cylindric form. So, it is A is equal to pi r square. Value of r is given. So, take the value square of square it and multiply it with pi. You get the value of area of cross section of the wire. So, what is that exactly problem you have to find out is x. So, rearranging the terms y is equal to fl by as. Rearranging the terms and bringing x to left hand side x is equal to f l by a into y a is nothing but pi r square so we are taking the formula as x is equal to f l by pi r square into y what is force force we are given as 14.7 length is given as 2 meters and pi is the constant value r is given by 0 0.013 into 10 to the power of minus 2 it is whole square into y value is 2.1 into 10 to the power of 11. So, you are substituting all these things. You are getting the value of x as 2.6 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. This is a solution but that is nothing but the extension produced in a wire. Okay. Next, we will go with another problem. Calculate the force required to produce an extension of 1 millimeter in steel wire of length 2 meters and diameter 1 mm. Y Young's modulus of steel is given by 2 into 10 to the power of 11 newton per meter square. Now what exactly this problem gives is calculate the force required. What is the amount of force required to produce an extension of that means x value is given as 1 mm. 1 mm means convert millimeters into meters. It is 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. So x value is 1 mm. It is converted into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters in a steel wire of length length is how much 2 meters and diameter is how much it is 1 mm what is diameter it is in mm so convert into meters that is d is equal to 10 to the power of minus 3 Hence, modulus y is already given y is equal to 2 into 10 to the power of 11 newton per meter square here the diameter has been given we want the radius so Radius is equal to diameter by 2. Therefore, 10 to the power of minus 3 by 2 is equal to 0.5 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. As discussed earlier, Y is equal to longitudinal stress by longitudinal strain. So, F by A is longitudinal strain and X by L is a longitudinal stress. So, stress by strain, you get the formula Y is equal to FL by AX where A is the area of cross section which is nothing but pi r square. So, what is the question we are going to see here? Force required. So, force we have to found, find out. Y is given, capital L is given, A, A your, is being given with R and X is also given. So, calculate the force. So, F is equal to rearranging the terms of that formula. F is equal to Y A X by L. Substitute the value of A value as pi R square. 
So pi r square y x by L. Substituting all the values, do it the calculations with the calculator. You will be getting as 78.54 newtons. So force required to produce an extension F is equal to 78.54 newtons. This is the solution for the numerical what is the force required. Next we will deal with another problem. Calculate the force required to twist a wire of length 1.5 meters. Radius 0.0425 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. Through an angle of pi by 45 radians. Pi by 45 radians. It is in the radians. If the value of rigidity modulus of the material is 8.3 into 10 to the power of 10 newton per meter square. So what is being given in this formula here is you have to calculate the torque required to twist a wire of length given length is 1.5 into 10 to the 1.5 meters radius is 0.0425 into 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. So length is been given r is given through an angle theta is given as pi by 45 radians rigidity modulus if the value of rigidity modulus. So what is the formula that we are going to see to solve this problem is couple per unit twist of a cylindrical body which we have derived in our theory classes c is equal to pi n r power 4 by 2l because it what is required torque we are related to torque means we have seen the couple per unit twist torque is equal to c theta which we have derived the torsion of a cylinder that is what we are going to use that application of a torsion of a cylinder where we have found out the torque so l is given capital r is given rigidity modulus is given theta value pi by 45 is given you have to calculate the torque tau what is a couple see torque tau can be defined as c into theta where c is a couple per unit twist so what is a couple here c is equal to pi n r power pi n r power 4 by 2l this formula we have got it from the we have derived it from the torsion of a cylinder couple of a torsion of a cylinder so substituting the given values n value r value l value you are getting c value c couple has 2.8357 into 10 to the power of minus 3 what is the formula for tau is nothing but c theta that is tau is equal to value of c multiplied by pi by 45 if you substitute if you do the calculations with your calculator you will be getting 1.98 into 10 to the power of minus 4 newton per newton meter so we are getting calculated the torque this is one of the solution this is the solution for the uh, torque what you are going to see with the numerical problem next we will see one more problem calculate the angular twist of a wire of length 0 0.3 meters radius 0 0.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters when the torque of 5 into 10 to the power of minus 4 newton meter is applied rigidity modulus of a material is 8 into 10 to the power of 10 newton per meter square now what exactly this problem says is what is the angular twist of a wire the length is given r is given torque is given and the rigidity modulus the same formula which we are going it is nothing but the torsion of a cylinder with the torque applied and we are going to see the couple thereby you are going to calculate the torque L is given from this here angular twist of a wire of length L is 0 0.3 meters radius is given as 0.2 into 10 to the power of minus 3 and torque tau is given as 5 into 10 to the power of 4 newton meter and eta is equal to 8 into 10 to the power of 10 newton per meter square. Now substituting all these values over here see, substituting the, all the values over here you are getting tau is equal to C theta tau is already known given there. So value of C is equal to pi eta r power 4 by 2L and we know that tau is equal to C theta. So take the value of theta also here the theta value we have to determine rest of all the values are given tau is given eta is given r is given L is given substitute the, all these values you will be getting the calculate the value of theta you will be getting as 0.75 radians. So this is the solution for this numerical. Next one more problem we are going to see is a rod of cross section of area 1 cm into 1 cm is rigidly planted into the earth vertically that means a rod is planted in the earth vertically a string which can withstand a maximum tension of 2 kg is tied to the upper end of the rod and pulled horizontally 
if the length of the rod if the length of the rod from the ground is 2 meters calculate the distance through which its upper layer upper end is displaced just before the string snaps Young's modulus of the steel is 2 into 10 to the power of 11 newton per meter square and g is given as 9.8 meter per second so what is this problem says is that means a rod is been fixed in the in the earth fix in the earth vertically with a digging a hole and the string which withstand with withstand of 2 kg is tied at the upper end of the rod and pulled horizontally. If the length of the rod, it is just like a single cantilever what we have discussed. It is a single cantilever what we have discussed. So, we have to use the uh, derivation of a single cantilever, Young's modulus of a single cantilever because you are pulling it in one direction and the vertically it is been given out. Vertically, the rod is fixed and you are pulling towards horizontally. So, it is been bent. So, single cantilever is one end of the rod is fixed and the other end is left free and the weight is been added. B is given. B is 1 centimeter. Area is 1 centimeter into 1 centimeter. So, B is equal to 1 centimeter converted into meters 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. D is also 10 to the power of minus 2 meters. Mass is M. L is 2 meters. Y is given. So, you have to calculate the, what is that we have asked to calculate the distance through which the upper end is displaced. That means, you have to calculate the amount of displacement that is Y naught. So, we know that for a Young's modulus Y is equal to 4 W L cube by B D cube into Y cube, Y naught. You are going to determine Y naught. So, rearranging the terms, Y naught is equal to 4 M G L cube by B D cube into Y. Substituting all these values as mg is nothing but mass is 2 kg g is 9.8 so instead of w you are making it as 2 into 9.8 into length is 2 cube b value is given y value is given d value is given substituting all these things and do the calculations you will be getting as 0 0.314 meters so this is the solution that means what we have determined is the amount of display the amount of distance through which the upper end is been displays it is just like a single cantilever one end is fixed the other end is free to move and if you keep on applying the load over there the amount of bending can be calculated by using single cantilever derivation that is y naught is equal to 4 mg l cube by bd cube into y thank you